happy to have him back in 2009 after two days of not sleeping and a lot of partying. I decided to make a phone call to that man right there, Johnny Stool, to tell him something heartfelt that at the time came from my heart and really, really needed to be put across to him. And I said to him, Johnny, you know, when the British wrestling history books are written, you'll be remembered almost as the Johnny Saint of your generation, a man that stood above the pack for what he contributed and donated to the UK scene. And now, six years later, Johnny Storm is here to prove that in the year 2015, he can still go. My word remain true, but tonight, the pressure is on Johnny Storm to show the rest of the world what I believe then and what I believe is still possible now, that in the right situation, on the right show, with the right opponent, Johnny Storm can still be one of the very best in European wrestling today. This crowd may be in for a huge treat here. And ladies and gentlemen, introducing his opponents. Well, when you talk about pioneers, when you talk about people that put the British wrestling scene on the map, Johnny Stool, Doug Williams, those names ring true. Independent wrestlers across the globe believe is one of the pioneers of high flying wrestling. I've heard so many guys who have gone on to become international worldwide stars, people like CM Punk, Daniel Bryan. Tell me that Jody Flyers is one of the greatest high flyers that they have ever seen. Jody had a, a terrible accident injury that he suffered in 2004, which prevented him from fulfilling a lot of the destiny that people believed that he was born to fulfill. Now, at Brit Rest Fest 2015 in a packed Liverpool Olympia, he will go back one on one with the man who he set a new standard of high flying action for in the UK scene, that's Johnny Storm. These two took their match across the globe. Who can forget their match at CCW's best of the best, but that was 13 years ago, can you believe it? And this is the first time that these two men have wrestled on this type of platform on both local and national television to be seen around the globe. Can they still do what we have seen them do before? The jury is out and the bell rings. Man, Jody Flash is one of the best wrestlers I've ever seen live. I tell you, I was actually the tag team partner of Jody for his debut match, and I was told very little about him, but, you know, somebody told me, oh, he does some really cool stuff, and so I said, well, you know, if you want to go for your finish and, and, and do your thing and, and, you know, get the sort of uh, debut glory, and Jody went to the top at the end of that match and did the first ever shooting star press that I've ever seen live. This guy is a pioneer, respected by so many. Can he relive that glory? Can he find the fire that made the Phoenix such a standout in the UK scene? It is yet to be seen, but now a tremendous headstand. Vintage Johnny Storm there, and I can say vintage after almost 20 years. Goes down, takes the wrist flawlessly. Whereas we haven't seen Jody on a main stage for quite some time, Johnny has been wrestling up and down the country five, six, seven days a week, keeping his body in incredible wrestling condition. But talking about incredible, look at, whoa, look at this by Jody Flash. This guy is still able to fly just like he could before. More muscular than the last time we saw him, slightly less hair. In fact, Everyone from the referee to the commentators to competitors is all sharing the same haircut for this one. But Jody Fleisch there showing us a little bit of that flair and Jody Storm right back there with a nice reversal, leg over, rolls through. Fujiwara armbar on Jody Fleisch here. See Johnny cinching in. And these two guys starting slow. Is that an indication that maybe the speed that we're used to them from in the past is not going to be seen? Time will tell here. But there's nothing wrong with them using chain wrestling, technical wrestling. Going back to the glory days of British wrestling's world of sport heritage and its fantastic past. Tight side headlock there by Flash. 
and this crowd poised, wondering, as am I, what we'll see from these two guys. I witnessed some of their magic live before, including at the revival event at Crystal Palace Indoor Arena. Huge crowd of 2,000 people at the time, a new record for, I guess, the new school of British wrestling. And these two guys tore the house down. But a very slow, methodical style here being employed. Johnny Storm rolls three and reverses that headlock here. And a crowd of a crowd of youngsters in the audience have taken a liking to Jody. He was very popular with young audiences back 15 years ago. But can you hear that? Jody Flash in 2015, just as popular as he was then. Must make him feel good. Oh, and we're off. These guys moving faster. Jody going for a monkey flip reverse by Johnny. Jody reverses. Johnny comes back. Ducks a kick. Storm off the ropes again. Moonsault. Leg sweep. Leg kick. Oh, whoa. Man, these guys are going fast. Look at this. Look at this. Man, it's like they've got Mr. Stop and they're not over yet. Johnny Storm and Jody Flash there. Man, I'm going to pull back too because this crowd being given a treat there and these two men realise they are in the ring with their wrestling self. Oh, the drop kick there by Storm. Wasn't expecting that. We keep right on Johnny. Cyclone Tope over the top there. Again, textbook. Textbook vintage Johnny Storm. Takes Jody Flash down. And man, I, I was really, really surprised at the speed that those guys went there. They started slow, and part of me believed we wouldn't see that kind of momentum that made their previous matches so, so entertaining and so jaw-dropping. But that was just a brief taste there that these guys can still go. No disrespect when I say that, but when I say still go, these guys worked at a pace that nobody in the UK was used to seeing. And Johnny Springwood there, two and just the two count. Oh, kick out into a leg drop. Man, never seen that from Storm before. And there's a chance that Johnny's going to kill you, man. This crowd is really split between Storm and Flash here. And Johnny going for that fantastic four. We've seen it before. Foot to the face is two of the four. Knee to the face is three of the four. And we're going to see the four of the four, which is the Inzaguri. And we're not. And whoa, look at that. Man, quicker than a cat. It's Johnny Stool from Harlow in Essex against Wolfram Stowe's favourite son, the Phoenix. Jody Flash right here at the Liverpool Olympia. Sends Jody to the outside. Jody able to slow his momentum and land on the apron there. It's amazing to me that these guys are still... It's like they've lost nothing and... No, no, he's not going for the Phoenix. 7-20, DDT, and he does well! And Jody reverses. Sorry, Jody reverses. Jody slides through the leg. Jody comes back and a big back heel kick there. Takes the Wonder Kid down and down hard. Man, we're so close to seeing that Phoenix 7-20 DDT once voted the most impressive wrestling move in the world! Whoa! Kick from Johnny Storm, Luch, Luch, Jody Flash into a massive Arakamana. Flash up and over, lands on the apron and up to the top. Where's Jody going? Johnny's not seen him. Keep your eye Flash! Huge! Drop kick sends Storm to the outside. Man, he hit and hit hard with that springboard drop kick. Jody Flash reminding everybody on the UK scene exactly why so many people thought he was so great and it looks like he's not finished yet. He's calling for something. Don't forget, this is the building where Jody Flash broke his jaw with a springboard shooting star press to the outside. So you think he, gonna, he was going to play it safe, but he's going for something. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, what's he going for? What is he going for? Cloud ruined salt to the outside. Man! I said before, when a match is taking my breath away, you will hear the word man come out quite regularly because I am unable to form coherent sentences. And at this point right now, all I can...
can say is, man, 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 these two guys are really, really showing their stock at the Liverpool Olympia. I'll never forget seeing Jody Flyce do that moonsault off a 20-foot balcony at the York Hall Bethnal Green as part of Brit West Fest. Sorry, as part of the uh, British Uprising 1. I'm getting, getting my super shows confused here. And it's still considered by many one of the most epic moments in British wrestling history. And we saw a, a shadow of it there with that big moonsault. And Jody, well, Jody on top there. Jody reverses. Two count followed by another two count. Ducks a clothesline there. There's Johnny Storm. And a German, but Johnny lands on his feet. Are we going to see that textbook bridge? And we do. Two and whoa. Oh, Johnny, Johnny rolls through. Another two count. Back and forth, back and forth. Rolls through. Two again. The Magistral Cradle here by Jody Flash. Two and again. Back and forth. Trading two counts and a big double clothesline sends both men down. And this crowd applauds again. Johnny Storm and Jody Flash at the Liverpool Olympia. We are seeing some kind of magic here as these two guys are rekindling their rivalry. Normally, when two guys have not wrestled each other for 15 years, you expect them to miss a step, to be somewhat out of sync. But it's almost as if that a decade and a half worth of rest from each other has led to them coming back with even more magic than they had before. And they're not done. Big right hand there by the wonder kid Jody Storm. Jody strikes back with a right hand of his own. Can't tell if those fists to close or open, but the referee doesn't seem to care. But quite clearly an open hand there by Jody Storm. Goes for a big close on Jody Dodson. Look at that big kick. And a oh! deep under the chin was that super kick by Jody Storm. I felt that one. Not half as much as Jody Flash, who's in a lateral press position here. Jody Storm on top there, using his body weight, but only getting a two. And you know, when you have wrestled somebody as much as these guys have wrestled each other, you start to know each other's moves, which is why I think we're seeing something new as well as something old in this contest. Both guys using the things that they use for success, but bringing out new things that they've not done before to try and get the advantage on the other. Jody with the upper hand here. Goes for a roll through there. Another, oh, oh, another near fall there. And I'm wondering if that ring rest is Ring rust is setting in, whether being out of wrestling shape is particularly affecting Jody Flash. Only time will tell. Does he still have it in the tank to be able to take it to the Wonder Kid? Goes for a monkey flip the Storm, but to, sorry, Flash, but Storm reverses. Doesn't quite get all of that chop. Jody on the second there. But keep your eye on Johnny Storm! Russian arm drag from the second rope there. Sends Flash crashing down and Flash looks almost out. And keep your eye on Storm for a rewind. Hurricane Rana! Holy moly in position two and three! Oh. Man! Can you believe that Johnny Storm hitting that rewind Hurricane Rana like he was 20 years of age? You know, they talk about when Johnny Saint wrestled after so long away from the ring and how he could still perform the same as he did before. But these guys, almost 20 years from when they began, are just doing incredible stuff in the ring. But well, well, keep your eye on Flash there. Whoa, did you see the height of that jump by Flash? A hurricane runner to Johnny Storm, who was on the top rope. And Flash going for seven. Is he, no, he's not going for the 720 DDT again, and he hits it center of the ring if he can make the cover this has got to be all this has got to be all one two and he oh! I have never ever seen anyone kick out of the Phoenix 720 DDT and Jody's facial expression tells the surprise that has rippled across this audience here at the Liverpool Olympia because Johnny Storm has just kicked out of the 720 DDT for the first time ever. And Jody, you can see the look on Johnny's face glazed there, but Jody going up again. And he does look somewhat exhausted, but the last time I said that out of nowhere, he hurled the mind of the man off the top rope and hit to textbook perfection, the 720 DDT. And this crowd here, you can hear him really 
Jody swaying towards Jody now. Back and forth, back and forth. What's going on here? Jody off the top and down! Huge powerbomb from the heavens! That's got to be all! That's got to be all! Oh, oh, oh! Whoa! The closest near four of this match so far! Did you see the force of that powerbomb? As Wolverstone's Phoenix, Jody Flash came up and off from the heavens, straight into that Johnny Storm leaping powerbomb, clean in the centre of the ring. But it was only enough to get two and nine tenths. What a match! What a match we're seeing between these two. And Storm calling for something. Is he going to go for that wonder well, that move we've seen him beat so many people with? And Jody there doesn't quite get all of that kick and goes for it again and again and again and again until he does. If at first you don't succeed, try, try, try again. But whoa, 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 whoa. Turn up from the top and Jody lands on his feet. Johnny hasn't seen him. He hasn't seen him. Up again. Goes. No way. Phoenix 720 DDT for a second time. Can he kick out? Will he kick out? No. Surpassed it right here in the Liverpool Olympia. What a Herculean effort by two men who first made wrestling history of their feud over 15 years ago. Coming back to the Liverpool Olympia at Brit Rest Fest 2015 and to pardon the pun, stealing the show. What a performance!
disappointing anyone.